What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video, and we're going to take a look at Ghost of Tsushima here on the Steam Deck, both for SteamOS and Windows, and there's definitely an issue right now anyway when it comes to the OLED. We're going to get into all that and take a look at some performance here. So starting off with Steam Deck on SteamOS, let's see how the game is doing. Now unfortunately on the OLED, which is what I'm testing on and why I'm doing overhead camera view, I can only play the game in HDR for now. There's no amount of settings or changing or anything I can do to fix that, and you can see just how the color difference it never if you turn off HDR it just never truly like turns off but then doesn't work properly like we're not getting the true SDR that we're supposed to get whatever the case may be but it really screws up the picture the image and makes it basically unplayable especially in a lot of scenes when it's doing that so if you're on the OLED deck like I am here for this you're definitely going to have to play in um HDR mode and if you're docked well it could be pretty rough if you're not able to do that there but yeah it's definitely something I hope that they fix really soon so we're only going to be doing the testing in here on HDR because that's the way I have things set up when we get into things here and for a lighter scene so you can see the real color differences and stuff here we'll do this and then switch over to just how that looks now so hey hopefully they'll get this fixed up for us but let's get in and look at some performance we'll stick with HDR here which hey the game looks amazing on the OLED in HDR so that is something here and performance is actually really good too this seems to be a pretty solid PC port so far but let's take a quick look at the settings here. So 800p, we're going to be on. VSync will have on and off here. That's something you're going to have to play with. The game certainly does seem to like VSync, though, to solve some issues. FSR 3.0 on balance for the most part here. And we can't use frame gen, unfortunately, on SteamOS. But when we switch over to Windows, I'll show you some frame gen over there. Now, we're going to bounce between low and medium, but you can go even down to very low. You can adjust different settings, but for presets and making things easy, low and medium here. Now, starting off on medium, FSR 3 here at 800 p it runs really well actually the beginning of this game unlike a lot of intros can be kind of tough to run in a few areas so this was pretty decent for the most part for the steam deck running here it seems like if you want to run on medium settings or so with kind of the preset there you're going to be in the 30s and 40s most of the time at least from what i've seen in my first four four and a half hours of the game i'm sure there's other areas that'll be harder to run where this is going to be an issue and you need to maybe lower some settings or lower your preset no big deal, at least we do have the overhead to do that. But I mostly wanted to show the medium here. So even around here, things are working really well. Now, something I do like about this game, a lot like Hor uh, Horizon Forbidden West, you can go in, pause, and go into your graphic settings and change those on the fly, and it works really well. I haven't really had any problems with this, so you can swap between your medium, low, very low, adjust individual settings. It'll The game will keep up with that, make the changes, and you can see that here. So if medium's working great in a lot of areas, you get to a rougher to run area later in the game, you can start adjusting things down on the fly while you're playing the game and keep going on without having to restart, reload your save, and all of that. So that's really uh, nice to see. Now going back here to our medium settings, running around here at the uh, Golden Temple, I believe it is, one of the first kind of like major like NPC areas I ran into here. Uh, performance is going to come down 32, 34, go back up again. Most of the time, 30s and 40s if I'm on medium for most of the areas that I'm running around to. I could FSR 3 performance or ultra performance, but we all know how visuals can get when we start getting below the balanced here. But yeah, I bounced around to a lot of different of my saves and different areas of the game and just kind of wanted to see how it run. And ultimately, not a lot of hiccups. Frame times are pretty good. Not really any stutters in this port. And again, at medium settings, 30s and 40s most of the time I thought was really good here. So definitely able to play and enjoy Ghost of Tsushima here on the Steam Deck, but we do have a problem with the OLED here with the HDR, SDR issue. Hopefully they can get that straightened out. Well, let's go ahead and move over and take a look at some Windows 11 performance and see what Ghost of Tsushima is doing over there. Now we won't have the issues here with HDR and we're on an LCD deck that still works fine with Windows here, with Windows 11. Options wise, very similar. I think I wound up on maybe balance or quality yeah quality on fsr here instead because i was using frame gen a lot other than that the medium or low preset just like i was showing on steam os and you can change all this on the fly as you get further into the game and maybe things get harder to run or that type of thing so yeah i'm getting into this here let's take a look i'll start with frame gen off you can see what happened there we're allowed to take advantage of that here which is nice we've got medium versus low here from left to right and you can see the difference if you're wanting to boost uh, the fps if you're wanting to help the frame times a little bit low or very low is obviously going to bring things up it's a graphically intensive game so lowering the settings and resolution helps here we have frame gen on and obviously running much better at medium with frame gen here uh, than we were getting either way 
with the regular non-frame gen version. So I think that's pretty cool that we can take advantage of that here. Still frame gen here at the Golden Temple at medium running really, really well. We were getting what 30s, 34, 35 right here over on Steam OS on medium, which wasn't bad at all. And low was about 40. So yeah, with frame gen on here, medium things running really well. Now we can go in here, turn frame gen off in the same exact spot and we'll come down to what about half of that, which makes sense 28 or so FPS here. So obviously if you're going to stay above 30, especially later on in the game here on windows 11, you're going to need to lower those settings or use frame gen. That's just pretty much what we're going to be stuck with. You can lower FSR, or I'd rather raise out the balance performance, but I'd rather keep it on quality here for Windows. It just seems to work better. Now, these same areas here that we were looking at earlier, here on low, 40, 42, 43. If we switch this uh, over in real time here to medium, we'll lose about 7 or 8 FPS. So I'm just kind of showing the point that the game is graphically intensive, whether you're on Steam OS or Windows 11, um, lowering graphical settings, either individually or presets are really going to help you raise and help performance. So FSR is also going to help you out here. And on Windows 11, frame gen is a big deal to help too. All those things are really helpful considering the graphical intensity of the game and being more GPU bound. We'll turn frame gen on here and boom, we can go up uh, closer to our 60 cap uh, sitting here on medium as well. So I, I personally just on Windows here, I like running this at medium with frame gen on. There's a little bit of input latency added to it, but it's really not too bad so far. If it annoys me later, I'll go lower settings and turn frame gen off, but that's just kind of what's working well for me here. Combat seems fine. Dodging seems fine. I can feel the difference between frame gen being on or frame gen being off, but it just depends on if you're going for that higher FPS, if you're going for, uh, you just want to go for more native experience, if you can feel the difference, some people can't, whatever the case may be. But here on Windows, we can take advantage of that and have the option. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much a quick look at performance for SteamOS and for Windows 11 so far in my four to five hours into the game, just bouncing around to a lot of different areas. It looks gorgeous, lots of headroom to play around with, and I don't think there'd be any problem playing through this game here either way. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.